What's going on, y'all? Buck Carolina Crazy Outdoors. And man, we up here in South Carolina, and it is freaking cold. It's really cold. My nub's cold. Yeah, mine too. It's real cold. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like Antarctica. I mean, it's like 20 degrees. Yeah, it, it's it's about as cold as I think I've ever experienced. Really? Yes. Yes, and it's you ain't got many of... clothes on. No, I don't feel like I have many clothes on, although I, I, I did layer up quite well. <laughs> yeah, are you ready to smoke one this morning? I'm so ready. I hear you. So ready. Last time me and Kenzie hunted together, I killed one and she killed one. So we hopefully we can get um get on some good running this morning. We're gonna be dog driving and pretty excited about it. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, Carl Craps Tire in Batesburg. Appreciate them their support and uh, Twin City Concrete. Both of those are local businesses, by the way. Uh, if you need a concrete pour man, give them a holler. They do a great job. Pour all my concrete. You need your concrete pour? <laughs> I need a lot of concrete pour. I, I ain't got nothing but dirt in my house. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. She's a big hunter. Mm -hmm. So um, you can check her out on Instagram. What's your little Instagram thing? Kenzie Ray. So. Is it Kenzie underscore Ray? It is, yes. Kenzie underscore Ray. I got gotcha. you. Yep. Cool deal. Well, we're going, uh, we're waiting, sitting here. Well, blah, 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 blah. I'm getting tongue tied. It's so cold. You're so I can't excited. Talk. Yeah, you're I'm excited. Ready to smoke I one. can't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're waiting for the guy now to pass us on the highway. We're going to follow him where we're going. This is a special hunt this morning. From what I understand, they only dog, dress, dog drive this place like maybe two or three times a year. So I'm pretty excited. Um, we're going to be in the middle of this whole place they're dog hunting. It's like 100 acres in the middle of it all. So uh, we're gonna be in the middle, and I'm hoping them dogs run some deer by us. Oh, I'm just ready to hear them running, period. Hey, tell I people, just, you ain't even gotta God, pull the trigger. That, no, like the first time we ever went together, they were right in front of us, boy. Whew, it exactly. gets your heart going. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that was them just past us, so we're gonna get off from here, and we're gonna go on in, and next time you see us, we're gonna be in the woods. Whew. Hear that ice, y'all? A lot of ice. Hey. A lot of ice out here, kids. <laughs> now, one thing I'm gonna tell y'all right now, my hand feels like I just have to hold this GoPro out this dang truck. But it, all that uh, stuff we just went through, it was completely froze over. But the truck in front of us broke it up, you know. But you can still see the like sheets of ice. I mean, it's cold. It's like getting down at you know close to 1920, and in South Carolina, that, that's cold. Um, we don't have many mornings in the 1920 range. I know you. About oh my to flip God, out. it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's not enough jackets in the world. Are you gonna live? I don't know. I might be one of them shriveled up raisins. So you can find me. <laughs> we gotta kill a deer, get that adrenaline going. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna hear some good running. <laughs> I'm I hope. so ready. Mm -mm -mm. Hearing them dogs singing. Singing. Let's Ooh. get it done. I'm ready for it. God, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is such a pretty place. Pretty place. So this is still hunting land. Uh, we dog drive it about maybe two times a year, three times a year, something like that. Um, there's probably six, eight hundred acres right through here that we still hunt on. It's not all ours, obviously. We got about 130 acres here, but um, the land all around us, these guys um, will be turning dogs loose on it. So. so pretty much everybody gets together, all the steel hunters, and y'all turn it into a dog drive for that day. Right, for the day. And all steel hunters should try that, man. Yeah, That's absolutely. Cool. So yeah. we'll uh, we'll cut loose this morning. We actually just found out they're gonna cut loose again on the same, we'll hunt this again this afternoon. So, um, but we try not to shoot any small deer. We try to shoot, you know, decent bucks. We try to shoot decent does. Um, you know, accidents happen though. It's, yeah. It is what it is. It's hard to hard to weigh a deer running 90 miles an hour yeah. through the woods. So, um, <clears throat> but there's a bunch of agricultural fields surrounded by woods here. We're down between St. Matthews and Ellery, uh, if y'all know where that's at. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll uh, basically we we usually run until about lunchtime. Um, they'll, you know, we we hunted this the day after Thanksgiving and. Um, Every time we tried to get out of the woods, dogs would quit running. We tried to get out of the woods, all of a sudden the dogs would jump another deer. So, um, this uh, last New Year's Day, we hunted this New Year's Day morning, and I saw 23 deer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> mm. So, here's my point again. 
more steel hunters, dog driving, because mm -hmm. it's that dang fun. Because the majority of these people that's doing this are steel hunters. Mm -hmm. And here we are dog driving it. Now, how y'all go about finding dogs? Like you just ask around, this so, invitation? Yeah, there's a, so one of the guys over here, they, they do dog drive. They start what, Todd, about Thanksgiving or so? Mm -hmm. They start dog driving. Um, they've got a couple different tracks of land that they hunt. And uh, I actually hunt with a community hunt club down here too. Mm -hmm. And a couple of the guys with the dogs actually hunt with community as mm -hmm. well. So We love hunting the community. That's right. <laughs> I love when they turn loose on my land. <laughs> when I know they're hunting Tyner Road, uh -huh. we always ready. And we used, we uh you know, last time we took a stander in there with us because they, buddy, I'm going to tell you something, that piece of property I got over there where my cabin is, yeah. if they jump, they're coming through it. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, you hear the dogs heading our way, you better look out. That's right. Which we try to abide by the club rules as well because right. they allow us to come over there and hunt with them. Mm -hmm. So the least we can do is follow the rules because mm -hmm. that's just right. the right thing to do. <laughs> All right, y'all. Finally made it back here. It is gorgeous in here. Got good visibility. They just turned out. So we gotta be ready. I mean, we could easily kill a deer, you know, slipping out the drive. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Kenzie, I've never heard this kind of quiet in the woods ever. You could hear a pin drop. It was eerie, Tyler. There's not even a bird chirping. No. Nothing. Nothing. Take the first one. What is the f deal then? Man. I didn't hear a crash. Hey, I didn't either. Bam. Yeah. Damn, that was a good buck. Did you I see know, him? It was definitely he was a nice. solid eight. Yeah. Okay. Deer just ran on top of us. Literally, we ain't been here five minutes. All right, y'all, the dogs is coming. We ready? They could be on them two deer we just shot at. Put them in over. Be ready, kids. Get my fingers ready. They coming. Oh, that's dog. Yeah, there's one that's You always got to make sure you know what you're shooting at. Um, them dogs was real close. The deer went on by, on by us. And then we heard something coming from that way. <clears throat> and I honestly thought it was a deer. And a dog, and a hunting dog come running out. Mm -hmm. So you got to make dang sure <clears throat> you know what you're shooting at. Because <clears throat> it's pretty thick in here. And, you know, you, your visibility ain't the best. It ain't worth shooting somebody's dog. So you got to be careful. And those deer, those dogs right there, they're not running the same deer that we shot at a while ago. Because they came from straight in front of us. Those two bucks that came in, they came from way back there. So I know they're on a different deer. The deer is a pass. Right oh, uh-uh. They're small. They're small. Let them go. Here's the deer, y'all. He's still. Look at that, Law. Look at that. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. The dogs is on top of the deer. <laughs> Oh my God, that was awesome. That was so cool. That was so awesome, Holy man. Golly. Look at him, look yeah, him. yeah. <laughs> what just happened, man? It was awesome. Um, there's a dog. Kenzie's pretty much in a situation where I'm pretty good at estimating these deer. Um, she was up ready. I mean, thank you, because yeah. a lot of people have just been started blasting. Oh no, no and she not. knows to wait until I'm like, take the deer, take yeah. the deer. These dogs are on top of these deer, and these three deer run. I mean, literally, what? 
15 yards? It's not even they They've never seen the standing here. No. And the dogs are right on top of the deer. And uh, it looked like a mom and two yearlings. Yep. The mom was probably 110, 15 pounds. It would have probably been a doe okay to take, but I ain't never liked shooting a doe with them two yearlings like yeah. that because they didn't weigh probably 40, 50 pounds. So we yeah. made a decision not to take these deer. Um, we got all day to hunt. So, yep. you know, that was <laughs> the dog right there was right on top of those deer. Well, see, even then, that, that, that's a good that's a good doe in Florida. So that's why I'm like, right, just right, tell right, them how to right. take it because I'm used to Great Danes right. as, as deer. So and it was so funny because I'm like, that's the dogs. You're like, that's the deer. The dogs and the deer were literally within feet of each, of other. each other. Yeah, it was crazy. It's almost like they're running together. <laughs> it literally is. I so, wonder if that dog's going to try and catch it I for know, a second. I know. But uh, that right shows you, man, everybody in out here just blasting whatever. I mean, we really try to make good decisions on what we're taking. Um, well, you have to. I want my kids to be able to hunt. That's right. how you want your kids to hunt. And that's if right. we just start blasting whatever, there ain't going to be nothing left. That's right. But that's good, uh, what's it called? Sportsmanship. Well, no, I'm talking about you being able to wait like that. Oh, I got um, patience, huh, Mom? Good patience. <laughs> I mean, this girl listens, man. You know, if you see the other video we did, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> take him, take him, take him. So, listen, when he says go, it's open it's on, season. It's on. But anyway, well, let's, we're going to quiet now. But I mean, I'm hoping that that should be good video. I mean, you can see the deer playing as day and the dogs at the same time. It's, it's wild. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, be still, be still, be still, be still. It's a nice girl. Dang! Dang. He's right there. Hold on. Dang. They're running a nice buck. He went, he was probably, I'd say, 70, 80 yards away. It just wasn't a good shot to take. It actually looked like the deer I shot at earlier this morning. I'm hoping they curve around in front of us. I saw them deer. Here's the deer out there, y'all. There he goes. Yeah, and there goes the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Burning. Hi, y'all. Burning them. Burning them. Burning them. Awesome as hell, man. Burning them. Awesome. Oh, yeah, Another I'm doe. That doe was probably 80, 90 pounds. Just not a deer we wanted to shoot. Um, I hope this video is proof that God. you ain't got to go out here blasting everything you see on no. dog drive, man. This is for you dog drivers that do that. Man, you can enjoy it so much. Not even pulling the Not trigger. Not even. It's I just mean, the ex excitement of seeing how close they yeah. come, period. Yeah. With the dogs right behind them. And just seeing that that dog has had another damn time of his life right, right now. Right, right. That's awesome. Exactly. And the thing about it is, that's a different deer. Oh, yeah. There was about four or five that passed us because yeah. I told you to get ready over here. Yeah. And then boom, that deer come out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And I saw him kind of toot toot through the, yeah. right, right where you said he was coming oh, yeah. from almost. Yeah, this has been awesome. This is this has been by far the best drive I've been on all year. Listen, I, my nerves are just like yeah. I adrenaline. Mean, the deer we've seen just God. I bet we've seen fifteen. Oh, fifteen easy. 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 And I'm talking. We could be we could be Randy's guns hot. Oh hell yeah! Oh listen, I could we could have <laughs> tore through those shells already. Yeah, yeah. This is by far I think the best one I've been on with you. Yeah, this is awesome. And and we and the thing well, that's very important because the other one you were on, we both killed a deer. Oh yeah. And this is still by far one of the, the best just one. Just with all the action that and we I, had, yeah. it's just and not even pulling the trigger. Yep. I mean. Well, we did pull the trigger what five times. <gasps> We shot up the woods, but we didn't hit the deer, I don't believe. Uh, maybe. We're, we're hoping yeah. that we did. We're going to go check. We're still going to go Odds check. Odds are <clears throat> it didn't happen. Right. They, they um, were running like they were pretty healthy still. I thought I hit the deer, but the dogs did get on it, and they ran out of here. And so chances are I didn't hit it, So and she didn't either. But 
We let we let about five shells fly at him. Yeah, though. that was a nice buck. He listen. I didn't know the other one behind him was a buck. Yeah. I saw the first one. Yep. I said, "That's it." And we just seen another nice buck mm -hmm. about he 80 yards. Right yeah, he went right by us. I was hoping he'd come in and U shape. Yeah, me too. And lose them dog trying to, you know, turn that way. This has been so great. Oh, man. I ain't, I ain't as cold no more now, though. I, <laughs> I ain't either. I mean, you're right. It's been so action packed. You, ain't, you don't even think about the uh -uh. goal. Uh uh. And you know, the last four deer that came up, they were so close. I could have yeah. shot them with my pistol. Oh, yeah. Hands yeah. down, I would have headshot. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> that close. Crazy. I feel like if I was one of them darn spider monkeys, <laughs> I wrestled him to get the me one of them earrings. Oh, you want one of them? That's a no ring? Yeah, I can what is that tether called? it to you. A bull, a bull ring? It's a scepter. Huh. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better quiet down and get ready for some more action. I'm ready for it. Yep. He's too excited. Get early, dear. These dogs just jumped right in front of us. I hate how close he's at. I see the You got a hundred and ten, 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 ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We over here where I thought I, I know I shot at the deer. In the first shot, I was pretty confident I hit the deer. Well, this here got in the way. And if you remember, that's a whole water buck shot right where I hit. And if you remember about two weeks ago, ow, I thought I hit another deer. Wind up hitting three trees. So we just added another tree to the list. So um, that's part of it. What you think? Well, he couldn't make like a leaf and leave in time, could he? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, ain't it been an awesome hunt? Of, it's been awesome, nonstop action, like the entire time. It's been the best the hunt I've been time. on all year. I'm still hopeful that one of those buckshots may have been that We could go look, man. Well, you never but know. I doubt it. I, I know doubt it. Happy. I know. But um, we can walk out here and double check and make a confident decision that we didn't hit we the didn't deer hit so you just never know like i said one bush shot could have but i'm pretty confident i didn't hit the deer but uh been an awesome hunt we've probably seen around 15 deer now it's been non-stop action so we'll see we'll stay tuned we'll let you know all right y'all we finally back in here we got with brandon again brandon yes sir how many deer did you want to see you Saw 13 does in a cow horn. 13 does in a cow horn. I think we've seen around 15-ish. Mm -hmm. And uh, out of those, two of those are nice bucks and another one's small. We wound up shooting at one of the bucks, but uh, wound up shooting a tree about half in two instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty confident we missed a deer. But uh, <laughs> I think that's the fourth tree I've gotten this year. So I'm doing pretty good with trees. There you go. But uh, here's Brandon's doe. I mean, a big old doe. That deer weigh, what, 115 pounds? Probably. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's nice. Big old doe. But um, we got to go ahead and get her tagged and um, get her on out of here. We'll be good to go. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You ready? Absolutely. <laughs> you ready? I'm absolutely ready. We're going to get back in here in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it a go again, ain't we? We're going to get us two. That's it. But uh, At least a couple more trees. That's right. right. Hey, that's right. Them trees but, uh, are going down, baby. That's right. <laughs> this, this, land, this hunt here was pretty much a bunch of steel hunting land. And man, you can tell because I mean the deer there was deer everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was a blast. Um y'all still hunters out there that have big tracts of land, man. Y'all ought to just try it. It's a blast. I mean, if you ain't doing it, you missing out. Big time. Missing out. But anyway, we're gonna get this deer out of here after we get her tagged and uh go get us some lunch and we'll be back at it again. What's going on y'all? Boat with Carolina Crazy Outdoors. Um as you can see, me and Kenzie got done eating and we didn't have no action um that afternoon hunt. But hey, that's part of it. And uh, but anyway, this is uh, three days later, and this morning, I'm excited because we're at a piece of land that I have some history with on the exact same stand. I'll let you see it, number 13, right there. Got these young ladies with me, Miss Meredith Hello. Price and Miss Evie Rain. So hey, Hi. you bashful thing, you. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell y'all, if y'all watch the video. Um, it's about three or four dog driving videos ago. Um, I had a run in with a tree right here. 
you can see I shot that and I shot that and uh, the buck lived happy well he didn't live happily ever after he did up to my point but the next standard got him so um, hopefully this morning I don't hit any trees that's the uh, goal but anyway uh, Meredith and Edie Rain has never dog drove so we've been going over safety very important and uh hopefully we can hear some good running and hopefully we can see a deer we're not going to be shooting a doe um we're not we've decided they don't want to shoot a doe and i'm not going to make them um that's not what it's about so we're going to only shoot a buck and hopefully we'll see one so y'all stay tuned all right y'all evie rain uh, like i said she's brand new to hunting we don't went over all this stuff with her about safety and all that but uh she wants to watch it all unfold on the first hunt and i get it you don't ever force nobody to do something that they're not comfortable doing so she's gonna watch it all unfold and uh hopefully on a second hunt it'll help her confidence she can get involved with it so you ready yeah. Man, you're gonna be slinging buckshot hopefully oh yeah heck yeah we're gonna rock it this morning So here's what just happened. <laughs> We're TikToking and taking pictures and a freaking doe runs on top of us. Can you believe that? Yeah, I don't even think I got it on camera. I heard the deer coming. That's a big old doe too. Yeah, I it was a dog. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was a, uh, that was a big doe. That's the doe we could have shot. But I know you said you, I know you said you don't, that was a daily well, I definitely. mean, if we see any more, I'll shoot it. <coughs> it's I up just, to you. I was just going to say that, that if there was like a lot of bucks running. Mm -hmm. I got you. I'm not going to make you shoot what you don't want to shoot. So, but that was crazy. That deer running right on top of it. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> like that thing's looking at you, but I got you on camera too. <coughs> we gotta do a, do a little thing. What Alright, get over there with her. I want a vlog. Oh, e -rain. You want a what? I, I want a vlog. A log? Vlog. Blog? A vlog. What the vlog? It's like That's like what you do. I don't know what vlog is. <laughs> do you want to do fishing pole? He wants us to do one on camera. What does vlog mean? You're like videoing what it's... you do in the uh. day. Oh, I got you. Okay, ready well, here. go over there and do it. You got to be on that side, though. No, I wanted to record. Oh, it, you don't. It's recording now. Hey, Brian, get over here. Ready? I should become a YouTuber. Yeah, but one, it ain't hard to do. Can you zoom in? No, you don't zoom. Oh. That camera's up close, okay. like 50 yards. Hey, Brian, are you ready? Yeah. They're on that deer. They're running that doe we saw. Yep. The dogs are just running that doe that just crossed over us. Oh. He's a little yeah. <laughs> yeah, they Yeah, they probably 300 yards behind that deer. But they running. <laughs> oh, it's a beagle. Yep, there it is. It's a little beagle. Hey, they will get him? Yeah. You want to get a big one? No. Hey, you gonna get a big one? You gonna get a big one with that BB gun? Yes, what about you? You gonna get a big one? Yeah. She getting one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I tell you what happened to me this morning. Them girls are playing on TikTok the darn dirt run on us. We weren't paying attention. That really happened. What's up guys? Today we're back in the woods with another YouTube video. We're dog uh, hunting today with some deer and got Edie Brain and Meredith yeah. here with buck and we're pretty excited to be out here uh second round of the day yeah didn't see but one earlier but unfortunately it we, was a doe it was a kind of a bad timing so we couldn't Female really deer. we didn't get a good shot on her so yeah we let her walk he was taking pictures so <laughs> so what really happened was they were no, tick no, no, no. and i was taking a picture to send her mother mm -hmm. and the deer ran through mm -hmm. then after all that went back it was back to TikTok. No. Okay. Well, we're Anyways. out here today on a new we're out on a new piece of property. Um, hopefully, we'll see some deer and have some good luck, and uh, hopefully, we'll get a good hopefully shot. Hopefully, kill kill something. 
Get Pew. some good action for you guys. Yeah. Pew. Just seen a doe. Borderline. 80 pounds. <laughs> One dog man. Good boy. Good boy. It's a good dog. <laughs> there was one two dogs running this deer but he ran kind of backed out a second she's like, i want to shoot but that's fine ain't nobody gonna force you to you don't do it until you're comfortable doing it you know but uh you nervous yeah you but that deer there was probably it was flirting with it was probably anywhere from 75 to 86 I'm a, pounds like 86 that. i'm gonna say between 80 and 90 but we don't want to be that person that shoots yeah. one under the weight limit. And it ain't, it ain't it worth it. I mean, so we were patient. She comes back in, you know, we'll, might give a better little, better estimation. <laughs> Wasn't that the same? Yeah. I'm talking about to shoot a deer out of the stand. That's what it's all about. Y'all need to get the young people involved. You ain't got to pull the trigger. I see all these hunters, dog hunters, you know, posting videos, kill shot this, kill shot that. It ain't always about a kill shot, man. It's all about it's about the dogs, listening to the dogs run. Um, you know, I'm trying to bridge the gap with still hunting and dog driving with my videos. And I hope a lot of y'all still hunters that think that dog drivers just shoot whatever. You know, a lot of these clubs, they're not doing that. You know, we could have we could have shot that deer all up. Yeah. Um, well, my look, the way it's been this year, I could have shot at her. Meredith would have probably killed a deer. But, um, you know, she got the shaking, never even pulled the trigger. So that's what it's all about. And a right. Yep, and skeet shooting. Skeet shooting. It helps. Skeet. It helps your target. You gotta... Maybe I need to try skeet shooting. I, I get daddy to chunk them at a funky angle, like low and fast. Uh -huh. What I love, too, is like, you didn't just throw up and start blasting. You asked me, is she big enough? Is she big enough? Is she big enough? Because a lot of people, there's a lot of adult hunters out there. They ain't got that kind of. Moral. Well, not moral, but also they ain't got that, that kind of patience. They just throw up and start laying it down and walk up to it and hope it's big enough, you know? So yeah. that was very cool that you thought about it enough to ask, like, is she big enough? Is she big enough? Is she big enough? So, and we decided that she wasn't. But if she runs back through here on that side, we get a better look. Maybe she will be. Right. She might grow 20 pounds. Who knows? <laughs> because, it, you know, you couldn't see her as good yeah, as I'd like was, to. She was kind of back in that bush. That I was, honestly that think would have been a hard shot. it would have got the time the sheet was right, right there. there yeah. But um, the thing is, too, we had to let her move out because yeah. you don't want to shoot straight down that line because her standards on down through there. But um, like I said, I think that day was big enough. Just but be safe, yeah. just be safe it ain't worth it that one this morning was tough. that one this morning was like a dirt army tank but somebody was tick talking and got me grabbed up in it um, <laughs> mr picture taker that's it that's it all right y'all well we did not get a deer um that's part of it i had a great time bringing these young ladies out here neither one of them miss Edie rain and they've been on on a hunt any kind of deer hunt so main thing with her today was learning safety and all that, what to do. Um, we taught her what to do. You know, she had the gun and she wanted to do it, but she chose not to, and that's totally cool. But uh, maybe next time, your confidence will build and build. Mm -hmm. Meredith, on the other hand, she's killed a bunch of deer, but um, it was our first dog drive. She learned a lot as well. Um, I think they both realized you ain't got to pull the trigger to have a good time. It made my day seeing your hand shake when that doe come running through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, did you have a good time, Edie? Yes. Ready to come back? Mm -hmm. Good. Meredith, I know that I ain't even gonna ask you. Because when I seen your hand like that, I know the answer to that. So, but again, it ain't about pulling the trigger, man. Um, You know, a lot of people see that on YouTube. It ain't about pulling the trigger. It's, it's about enjoying yourself, having a good time, listening to the dogs run, 
be selective on what you shoot. I mean, you ain't got to shoot every deer that runs through. Most of these clubs I go on, they all have actually pretty strict regulations on what you can shoot, and I love it. Um, it's like the steel hunting club we were on last, uh, this past Saturday. All steel hunting land, they hunted, dog drive it two times a year. You couldn't shoot nothing but a big doe, like over 100 pounds, and you had to be a buck with the uh, outside the ears, three on one side. So, hope y'all see that, you know, we ain't out here just shooting whatever, man. So, y'all wanna wrap this thing up? Hope y'all enjoy, well, you got anything you wanna say? Uh, get out in the woods and go have fun. It's a good experience and it's good for personality building. That's right. <laughs> now I know you're quiet. You ain't gonna say nothing, I'll play. Subscribe. Oh, I got, there you go, <laughs> there you go. But um, I hope y'all liking these videos, really, I really do. Um, I try to keep it real, and like I said, I'm trying to bridge the gap between steel hunting and dog driving. I know that everybody ain't gonna be happy, but I'm trying to show people that, you know, dog drivers just ain't out there mopping down, mopping up the population like people think they are. Um, I try to show in these videos, you know, passing deer up, passing deer up, passing deer up. So, but anyway, y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.